Um, what is Morgan without Gorman? What's the what's the more, a Gorman premium we got to price out right now? Alex, I, I think certain, certainly you're going to see the stock um, trade off a bit because James Gorman has done a very good job in turning Morgan Stanley around from the financial crisis to where it is today. He's diversified the, the business mix of the company and has been re rewarded with a better than peer average valuation. So, of course, this type of news, yep. which is not uh, shocking because we all knew that when they realigned their executives about 18 months ago, that his retirement days you know, were coming soon. Gerard, um, somebody is going to take over. Who do you think it's going to be? And are they a continuity candidate? When they reshuffled senior management about 18 months ago, Ted Pick and Andy Saperstein were the two individuals that were made co-presidents. And they're the heir apparents of James Gorman. It's, it's a horse race. It's neck and neck. Um, clearly, as outsiders, we don't know for sure who will take over because uh, the, the diversity and the shifting of the business of Morgan Stanley over the last 15, 20 years, um, diversifying more into the wealth management space mm -hmm. has been a real success story of Morgan Stanley. So it's hard to say which one will be chosen to replace James Gorman, assuming it's one of those two. Why do you think the stock is down right now? Maybe an unfair question. It's a day of move. I get that. But why do you think the market's having this ne more negative reaction right now? I, I think it's because you know, his leadership has been so strong. He's been the face of the company for so long. And it's the, uh, it's the unknown. Uh, it's the unknown of who will replace him. And it's the unknown of how well they will do. It doesn't necessarily mean the replacements are going to do any um, you know, worse than James Gorman. They could be even better. They could have better plans, better mm -hmm. strategies. So, but it's just the unknown is why I think the stock is down. Alex, we should probably talk about the other Morgan here as well, mm -hmm. JP Morgan. Invest today, Monday. Pressure's on. Yep, pressure's on, Gerard. We're going to hear from Jimmy yep. Diamond. Is he going to be like, all right, guys, I guess I'm going to retire. We're going to get the five-year thing again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Alex, I think we're going to get the five-year thing again. Uh, I, I think Jimmy Diamond is in his element. He's enjoying his job. Uh, he's in the center of uh, the fight. He's there to you know, help with policy in this country, in the banking industry, as most recently evidenced with the crisis that we came or the uh, turmoil we came through with the three banks that failed. So I, I don't expect to hear this type of news Monday from uh, from J.P. Morgan or Jamie Dimon.